The space industry is one of the most challenging realms to navigate. After all, when people want to emphasize the complexity of a task, they often say, it's not rocket science. And when we're talking about building the largest rocket ever conceived, the challenges multiply exponentially. That's precisely the task SpaceX is undertaking with their highly anticipated Starship rocket. And the boss of SpaceX is known for dropping hints about future endeavors. Recently, he's been teasing tidbits about the upcoming second launch of the Starship. Exciting times ahead. Before we delve any deeper, ensure you're not missing out on any future news. Hit that subscribe button on our channel to stay updated on the Starship's launch date and much more. We all remember the initial Starship launch attempt in April. It didn't exactly go as planned, with the Super Heavy rocket booster putting the Starbase orbital launch mount through its paces. But setbacks like these are all part of the journey, and swift repairs and rebuilds followed the inaugural orbital flight test. Musk is now radiating optimism. He believes that the second launch will not just be better, but it has a decent chance of successfully reaching orbit. In the first test flight back on April 20th, things ended with a bang as they triggered an explosion at high altitude. However, this setback proved valuable as it provided SpaceX with a trove of data to make numerous improvements. Now, SpaceX is gearing up to launch what could be the world's most powerful rocket once more. Musk spilled the details on what to expect from Flight 2 and beyond during a laid-back talk at the International Astronautical Congress in Baku, Azerbaijan. In this conversation, Musk highlighted that he didn't want to hype up expectations too much for this second launch. He's always emphasized that the first launch was a success in the sense of their fail-fast, learn-fast approach, even with its explosive ending. The SpaceX team is working day and night to ensure the success of Starship's next flight, especially with recent concerns voiced by NASA officials regarding potential delays to the Artemis III moon landing due to the development timeline of Starship. Just three weeks ago, we all recall the Federal Aviation Authority wrapping up their investigation into the initial test flight, highlighting 63 corrective actions SpaceX needed to undertake for safer future flights. SpaceX didn't waste any time. Musk recently tweeted that the team has already addressed 57 out of those 63 directives, with the remaining six relevant to subsequent flights. Yet before Starship ascends the skies once again, some regulatory steps remain. SpaceX is currently awaiting the green light from the FAA and environmental clearance from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. But once those boxes are ticked, Starship will be good to go. Musk and the SpaceX team have been showing off the progress, revealing modifications like a vented interstage and a heat shield on top of the Super Heavy booster stage, all showcased in recent pictures. During his speech, Musk dished out some exciting updates about SpaceX's Starship. He talked about a big change. This will be the first time they attempt a hot staging separation, which he labeled as the riskiest part of the flight. Musk shared, if the engine's light in the ship doesn't blow itself up during staging, then I think we've got a decent chance of reaching orbit. In the event Starship reaches orbit, it won't complete a full lap around Earth. Instead, it will take a shorter route, splashing down in the Pacific near Hawaii. Speaking about this crucial moment, Musk mentioned, we think the rocket's heat shield will do the job, but it's a wait-and-see situation. If it doesn't work, we prefer it not to work over the Pacific. Plenty of open space, fewer people around. The prototype for Flight 2, a combo of Starship Upper Stage Ship 25 and Super Heavy Booster 9, packs a serious punch. Musk highlighted that it generates about double the thrust of NASA's Apollo-era Saturn V rocket. Even more impressively, SpaceX has upgrades in the pipeline that could triple that thrust, aiming for a jaw-dropping 20 million pounds of thrust after future engine upgrades. But the innovations don't stop there. SpaceX plans to upgrade their launch tower named Mechazilla to catch the returning Super Heavy boosters as they descend back to Earth. Musk hinted this upgrade could happen in under a year, showing their commitment to fast progress. Musk also discussed the grand vision for Starship, emphasizing its colossal size as a means to an end. To build something capable of creating a permanent base on the Moon and a city on Mars. That's why it is so large. Otherwise, we could make it much smaller. As for when the Starship makes its mark on Mars, according to Musk, an uncrewed mission to Mars could touch down within the next four years. However, he acknowledged his ambitious timelines, suggesting it's more of a ballpark estimate. 
In the grand scheme of things, Musk envisions Starship as a game changer, capable of landing on any solid surface in the solar system. If this vision comes to fruition, humanity will have truly taken its first steps into becoming a multi-planetary species. Musk also provided some interesting insights during his virtual appearance at the International Astronautical Congress, sharing that it'll be roughly a year before SpaceX's shiny new Starship vehicle is ready to kick off satellite launches. In an interesting twist, Musk noted that the new Starship might start deploying SpaceX's advanced Starlink satellites even before they nail down the safe recovery process for both stages of the vehicle. Interestingly, SpaceX hasn't given enough details about the version 3 of their Starlink satellites. Initially, the plan was to launch full-sized V-2 satellites on Starship, steering away from the smaller V-2 mini satellites currently hitching rides on Falcon 9. Musk hinted that these launches might commence before they've completely mastered the recovery of both the Super Heavy booster and the Starship upper stage, or ship. He said that the challenge lies in ensuring a safe re-entry and landing of the ship, which could take a while to crack. Nevertheless, he stressed that launching the satellites can start even before fully tackling ship reusability, given that, in any case, the upper stage is expendable with Falcon 9. In a twist of events, SpaceX has recently taken issue with a report the FAA submitted to Congress. The report warned that by 2035, pieces from U.S. satellites in low Earth orbit could fall and potentially harm or kill someone every two years, if things go as currently planned. SpaceX didn't take this lightly. On October 9th, a letter from SpaceX's principal engineer addressed to both the FAA and Congress highlighted the company's concerns. Goldstein criticized the report for its deeply flawed analysis, which, according to him, leaned on assumptions, speculative thinking, and outmoded studies. That wraps up our Starship update for now, folks. Share your thoughts in the comments. And if you have any additional insights to share about space exploration, we'd love to hear those as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.